Hello friends, welcome back to my channel all about uh, structural analysis and uh, design. Today we will see one of the important uh, civil engineering questions, especially for site engineers, that what is the difference between nominal mixed concrete and uh, design mixed concrete. So before moving to this mixes, first we shall uh, briefly see what is concrete. So concrete is uh, nothing but the mixture of the ingredients that is cement, sand, coarse aggregates and water. When all these ingredients are mixed thoroughly, then uh, we can have a good quality of concrete. But the next question arises is the, what are the quantities of this materials have to be added to get a good concrete? Then comes this words nominal mix and uh, design mix. Uh, first we will see what is nominal mix, its advantages and disadvantages and then we'll go for design mix and we'll see what are the advantages and disadvantages of design mix concrete. So uh, we'll uh, have this uh, nominal mix. So nominal mix, it is the process in which all the ingredients are uh, prescribed as per empirical studies. It specifies the proportion of cement, sand and aggregates without any special efforts. Concrete shall be called nominal mix concrete when we adopt the predetermined mix like 1 is to 1.5 is to 3, 1 is to 2 is to 4 or 1 is to 3 is to 6 etc. based on past empirical studies. So nominal mix is basically the prescriptive type of concrete means the uh, proportions is uh, pre-decided by past empirical studies. So special efforts are not needed for this kind of mix. Special efforts in the sense there is no need to calculate or to find out the specific gravity, water absorption or uh, any other uh, laboratory data is not required for the nominal mix. The predetermined uh, proportions are uh, given uh, like in the form of uh, if you want to produce M20 concrete we have 1 is to 1.5 is to 3 if you want to produce uh, M15 concrete then we can go for 1 is to 2 is to 4 so there is no actually no need to find out any laboratory data for all the materials we will not be testing all, any of the materials directly whatever is available uh, on the site, we will be mixing with this proportion and getting the concrete. So, uh, I will just uh, briefly discuss about uh, its advantages. Its advantages is, uh, it is easy to implement on site. Because there is uh, no special efforts, uh, no other data and all. So, we can uh, easily implement this on site. And also, uh, time consumed is less. Uh, when uh, directly on site if you get these materials with the help of these uh, proportions you can uh, make concrete and you can start your concreting work so less time for proportion and also skilled persons are not required in this mix any mason also can uh, do this uh, directly with the help of these ratios and concreting work can, work can be started but what are the disadvantages the main drawback of this uh, nominal mix is design strength is not guaranteed unless all the factors that is uh, compaction, uh, water cement ratio, curing are strictly followed. If these things are followed very strictly then we can uh, uh, assure the uh, design strength. But if this is not controlled then we cannot assure or we cannot guarantee the target strength or uh, design strength and also if water cement ratio is uh, not controlled in this type of cases it is assumed directly and if uh, water is not controlled then uh, concrete may lead to segregation and also it may lead to bleeding and this causes to disintegrate into the uh, um, what you can say the compressive strength we cannot achieve the main compressive strength for what we have uh, taken this proportion. So this we have to remember that water cement ratio should be in control and also other factors should be in 
very much control to have the design strength and uh, material testing is not done whatever materials you got uh, in the site directly you take it and uh, you can mix it so no materials um, is uh, tested so because no materials are tested grading zones and all are not tested cement is not tested we cannot guarantee the design strength so these were some of the advantages and uh, disadvantages of this nominal concrete so next is uh, design mix design mix is more uh, scientific than nominal mix design mix is a exhaustive process in which the proportion of the ingredients are determined all the materials are lab tested and the concrete is tested for compressive strengths at various days that is uh, 7 14 21 and 28 days if the mix satisfies the criteria the combination of materials is executed at the site so as nominal mix was directly we were carrying out the uh, mixing with the prescribed proportion but in design mix it is the exhaustive process and uh, all the uh, materials are lab tested and then we go for the proportioning of ingredients and also after getting a proportion we go for the compressive strengths or flexural strengths test that also for uh, the 7 14 21 and 28 days and the mix uh, satisfies the criteria uh, criteria with respect to your uh, fresh concrete or hardened concrete and if it satisfies all the criteria uh, then the material uh, 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 sorry it, if it is satisfies the criteria and the combination of these materials is satisfied then we <coughs> sorry uh, is uh, executed at the site so uh, this type of mix has a lot of uh, advantages so first of all this is a uh, scientific and uh, uh, more uh, correct method of uh, mixing the concrete then this is based on actual materials to be used on site okay then uh, mix design gives a proper proportion that is uh, materials are not overused or it is or it is not underused materials is not wasted in this type of design mix accurately the proportion is given and with respect to that proportion we go for this mix then uh, it is based on trial and errors method uh, in laboratory after getting a proportion we go for uh, casting of cubes and those cubes are tested so until and unless we get the desired target strength or desired compressive strength uh, then suppose if we don't get the desired strength then we change the proportion and again we go for the uh, next set of proportion till then it is not executed at the site so whatever the proportions we have got we test it first and then execute at the site and uh, one more specialty of this mix is the designer is uh, free to use mineral or uh, chemical admixtures to modify the properties according to the requirement suppose in a very important works or in uh, uh, reinforcement congested works what is uh, happened is means we require more slump more workability in that case by keeping the water cement ratio low we go for the admixtures to increase the workability so this design mix gives us the way to have the mix which has more workability compared to nominal mix there was no provision of admixtures okay so this is one of the uh, big advantage we get and the desired strength is guaranteed in this type of mix whatever you are uh, going to design a concrete for example m30 you will be guaranteed that with the same materials you are getting the desired compressive strength so what are the disadvantages the, the disadvantages is uh, it needs more time it needs more time as all the lab tests are done on the materials for cement sand core segregates uh, and also mixing of water also test is carried out so the time needed is more and if the type of quality of material is changed on the site the entire proportion changes because 
the different batch of quarries have different uh, specific gravities water absorption is different so all the proportion gets changed so it is better to have the lab tests on uh, two or three branded cements and also from the different quarries of aggregates so if we keep handy these uh, results then it will be easier to proceed the concreting work and uh, the last uh, disadvantage is a uh, skillful person is required for this mix design where as in nominal mix no skill was required so but in uh, design mix skill is required so then uh, what is the conclusion so conclusion uh, nominal mix is based on past empirical uh, results nominal mix is used for ordinary concrete work below m20 if you want to use you can use this uh, nominal mix then our design mix is exhaustive and accurate method of proportioning the ingredients and also design mix is preferred for important projects so nominal mix can be used for ordinary concreting work and uh, design mix is uh, used for important projects so this was all about nominal mix and uh, design mix so i hope i have uh, cleared some doubts about this type of mixes and uh, also in the next lectures i am going to discuss about uh, objectives of concrete mix design and also the parameters which are uh, influenced or which are important for the uh, mix design procedure and also i am uh, going to prepare the mix design of concrete and uh, mix design of uh, concrete with the cement replacement by flash so stay tuned for the next lectures and uh, please subscribe share this lecture and uh, subscribe my channel for the latest videos thank you guys